Hey folks, I'm Brandon. You're watching the Overqualified Henchman, and I'm sick. <clears throat> <clears throat> What? I'm sick. I just said uh, I was sick. Uh, uh, I, today's topic, the hero bundle from T-Fury. Yay. Uh, T-Fury made several of these bundles available with different themes. There's a horror one. Doctor Who one, Pokemon one. Maybe predictably, I went for the bundle themed around Marvel superheroes. <coughs> <coughs> of course, since it's T-Fury, each bundle came with a t-shirt. The Heroes bundle has this design featuring the Jane Foster version of Thor. It's a really striking design, mainly white on black with just the red of her cape and the yellow of her hair picked out. I've really been enjoying the new storyline with Jane as Thor. <coughs> If you haven't been keeping up, I recommend checking out the most recent number one issue right after Seeker Wars. This scene where they describe her chemo is really poignant. I think it'll resonate with a lot of readers. Ugh. The thing that made me laugh out loud and really sold me on the bundle though was these socks. They're designed to look like Spider-Man's boots, but they're black on the bottoms and they have inky symbiote tendrils slipping up the feet like he just stepped in it. I think it's a really clever design and a funny joke. I had to get them. This would be a funny moment to reveal that the whole being sick thing was just working up to a symbiote gag. That is not. I'm just sick. <coughs> Each bundle also featured a pin. This one's designed to look like Tony Stark's arc reactor inside the rings of Captain America's shield. It's got two fasteners on the back. I'm sure it's meant to be a reference to the upcoming Civil War movie. But the only thing I can think of when I look at it is that it's a design that Steve and Tony had commissioned for their wedding invitations. That may say more about me than it does about the pin, though. Speaking of Civil War, the last item in the bundle is this poster. It is designed to look like two separate posters ripped down the middle, one supporting registration and one against it. Now, this is more a reference to the comic storyline Civil War. Uh, which the movie only very loosely resembles, where Spider-Man starts off on Iron Man's side with the Iron Spider armor and later defects to Captain America's side, going back to his original costume. He's got a strong propaganda poster feel, and it'll be interesting to see how Spider-Man actually plays into the movie. The T-Fury bundles were interesting and I think kind of an experiment on their part. They share a lot in common with subscription boxes, but there wasn't any mystery element. You knew exactly what you were getting when you ordered. They do still have that Christmas stocking feeling though of opening up a bunch of really cool stuff all at once. I'm curious to see if they were popular enough for T-Fury to do this again in the future. Thanks for watching. You can encourage my self-destructive behavior by remembering to like, subscribe, and share. I'm gonna go lie down. In the meantime, keep on henching. T. More tea.